tadi sih udah gue ambil nah. oke ini dia kita lihat ini suara dari gensinnya belum ada Oke, empat kayak cukup soalnya ini headset gue tuh kenceng banget jadi kalau terlalu kenceng itu enak banget di kuping dan oke okay, langsung ini sini ya kita tes lewat uh, si perahu fisherman dulu tuh yang nganterin kita ke sana kalau nggak bisa baru lompat lompat mana sih jalannya asli ah, Oke okay, ternyata selama lo udah pernah lo bisa lewat sini lagi walaupun itu ada dark quest jadi nggak harus lo lewat tebing-tebing yang tinggi buat kesana. Oh, I didn't think I would see you here. Are these two your friends? Yes, we had the fortune of meeting not too long ago. They are quite a knowledgeable and talented pair, and a pleasure to be around. Traveler, we were just discussing the history of Rex Lapis. Would you like to... Uh, this good sir seems not to appreciate the almighty power of the Lord of Geo. As a professional archaeologist, I'm inclined to correct some of his erroneous views. Gua akan berpura-pura menjadi seseorang yang menahan diri untuk nggak ngasih tahu dia itu siapa. Soalnya kalau dari dua pilihan ini, ini kemungkinan akan di hold sama si siapa, sama si Zhongli. Jadi ya daripada kayak gitu, mendingan gue gini. Gue juga nggak tahu sih uh, kalau misalkan gue pilih atas nanti bakal kayak gimana. Tapi gue akan pilih ini aja. We are discussing the whereabouts of the first Mora. As everyone knows, the Lord of Geo taught the ancient people of Liyue the craft of smelting, creating goods that allowed them to develop trade with the early nations of that time. Today, Liyue holds the sole right to cast Mora in the entire continent of Tivat. The world's very first Mora should have been cast by the hands of the Lord of Geo himself thousands of years ago. According to my research, as well as my own hypothesis, I believe that this coin of unique historical significance has been passed down secretly through the years as a kind of token. For example, perhaps the Qixing who control the Liyue use it in some kind of unknown ceremony they hold when they come to power. No, no, no. My research indicates that the first Mora coin is not such a simple thing. Mora is a catalyst. This we all know. Even today, more than the mystic arts for its curious properties of weapon enhancement. Hmm, mungkin sih. Selama ini gue ngira kan butuh murah buat enhancement buat bayar orang. Tapi kalau dengan kira kayak gini ya, mungkin ya. The world's first Mora would no doubt possess the strongest power, 
Uh, my next historical, that is, that the Lord of Geo used this original Mora as a catalyst to enhance a dagger and a sword. Well, buy the book when it comes out to read yeah, the full story. Well, <laughs> now, okay. I will only reveal this. The I can't say I agree. <clears throat> Let us not speak of the authenticity of the dagger and sword first. But Morex Lapis just meant for Mora to serve as a catalyst for people to exchange and trade. The world's first Mora is probably just an ordinary coin created by Rex Lapis. As for its fate, the same as all Mora, I suspect. It was simply spent somewhere. Hmm. I think that Mr. Hanshua's hypothesis seems reasonable. Mr. Zhongli's argument, on the other hand, lacks any evidence. How can you so easily dismiss the Lord of Geo's without <laughs> <foresight>? <laughs> no, no, I am not debating right or wrong. I am simply stating a fact. Enough! Do you think you understand the Lord of Geo more than me? Okay, karena ada pilihannya lagi, gua akan pilih actually he is. I know but little about Masih history. Masih enggak juga. And I wouldn't dare to brag. Hmm. But discussion is meaningless if everyone has the same opinion, no? Well then, answer me this. Long ago, when Liyue Harbor was being constructed, the Lord of Geo taught the people how to build houses. The model home he used to teach them was completely cast from Mora, correct? That is correct, indeed. Okay, then tell me. Why would the Lord of Geo do something so extravagant if not because of the mystical power that Mora contains? There's a simple explanation, really. To the god of wealth and commerce, what material is easier to get than Mora? Uh, oh. Huh. <laughs> I mean... I am talking about Rex Lapis. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I have some questions about archaeology. Can we find somewhere quiet to chat? I mean... Oh, it's no problem at all. But may my friend accompany us? Perhaps they could be of some help. Hmm. Of course. They can come if that's what pleases you, sir. Let's go. What I'm about to say is a bit disrespectful of the Lord of Geo and would draw a lot of angry looks. Your argument just now exhibited acuteness of speech and thought. Most importantly, you don't fall for the boasting and acting of the others. You remain objective. So I have a question for you. Perhaps you will answer differently from other scholars. Do you think that all the gods that the Geo Archon killed were evil? Mm. Let's not analyze it in terms of good versus evil. Rex Lapis placed great importance on the integrity of contracts. So any gods he killed certainly must have broken some kind of contract. But when I was doing some research, I learned about the legend of the God of Salt. The mm. God of Salt, Havria, was a very kind god. But she encountered Morax one day in battle. Morax used a rather underhanded trick to... Assassinate her. This, this bit of history is a long story. But you may not like the truth when you hear it. Don't worry, please tell me what you know. This event, I've already searched for answers for a long time. No, it's just... <sighs> Where should... Over here, Mr. Zhang Li. I've been looking for you. <laughs> ah, see. First of all, I'm not holding a weapon. <laughs> oh, There's no need to overreact now. I'm simply an archaeological researcher from Snezhnaya. I'm not here for trouble. 
But this time, I registered with the Liyue Ministry of Civil Affairs. I could show you the official documentation if you want to see. I will be conducting an archaeological survey here, the results of which will all be shared with the ministry. I heard that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor had a consultant named Zhang Li, with immense knowledge of ancient history and archaeology. So I paid Wangsheng Funeral Parlor a handsome amount to hire Zhang Li. So you mean to say that this is work for the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, yes? Well, since it's work, I don't have a choice. A consultant of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor must respect their duty. Of course you would be such a reasonable man. Wait, if you were studying archaeology, can... That will give us a chance to continue the topic we were just <laughs> discussing. Oh, and you should tag along too. Ini jawaban-jawabannya tuh kayak paimon banget dah. This experience may be of help to you on your future adventures. It is a story from before the rise of the Seven. Although... This is... Wait. This is an archaeological expedition, not a tour group. That's too many people. But this friend of mine has a treasure-finding talent, surpassed by no one. It will surely be of great help to us. Oh? What talent? If my friend espies a treasure chest, they will absolutely find a way to open it. Well, that is quite enticing. All right, well, let's go. There's no time to waste. When the overlord of the Vortex was crushed by the Jade Chamber recently, perhaps something of interest was washed ashore. An ancient artifact would be good. Traces of ancient activity would be great. But a piece of the God's limb would be even better. Who knows what surprises we may find. Ini lumayan loh dapatnya, Wits. Gila. Stone Forest. Kita lihat di Stone Forest ada apa? No time to lose. This place looks so ordinary. I don't mean the scenery, but rather that there should be something out of the ordinary. A big battle did just occur and all, and I don't even know where to begin looking here. Guyan Stone Forest is actually the perfect place to be, if you wish to learn about the gods or the history of the Archon War. Legend has it that Rex Lapis threw spears made of large rock into the sea here, piercing and crushing the overlord of the Vortex. After many years of wind erosion, those stone spears have turned into the unique rock formations we see now. What we see now is just the part of them that remains. The stone spears hurled by Rex Lapis. All those, but due to the different angles they landed at, their large centers of mass, erosion by seawater and years of gravity, many of them have been completely swallowed by the sea. So besides wind erosion, the initial collapsing of the stone speed. Well, a god able to fight one so powerful as Rex Lapis was certainly very strong in its own right. Indeed. This is where the value lies in research at Guyan Stone Forest. Most of the objects from that time were lost to the sea. But the gigantic waves created by the overlook. So you're saying that if we look carefully, we'll be able to get very, very rich. Okay, uh, I mean, rich with archaeological knowledge and historical value, yes? <laughs> That's all I seek in life. 
Since we brought so many people, I think it would be best to split up and look. Okay, then. I will go with my friend here. Although I have a smattering of knowledge in... Huh? Me? What's the matter? This is your profession. Why are you so surprised? I get it. I'll escort him, then. Okay. If we find anything val... The ancient god probably left behind lots of elemental marks. Following them should make our search much easier. Gue belum ngisi darah dong. Guyan Stone Forest is a place where a god was defeated, and its remnants still affect the area to this day. Untung bawa dia sih, jadi bisa ngehil lebih kencang daripada ngehil si siapa uh, Barbara. Ya cuma anaknya Barbara bisa langsung semua.
See that object in the center? Hmm. Perhaps it emits the remnant strength of the god. That would certainly affect it. The Hydromonic Monsters. I have a contract, and must put my personal feelings aside. Go ahead, defeat them, and recover the relic. Ini Bennett gue baru bikin, jadi masih artefak belum diapapain Dan banyak banget sih yang belum Jatuhnya aja masih level 50 is quite unique. This should be enough to garner some information. Let's head back. You call yourself a scholar of archaeology? We all have our areas of expertise. I already tried vi- this girl just keeps bragging about how she's an archaeologist, but she doesn't even know she left me to rely solely on guessing, I mean, experience, to find anything valuable to take back. Ugh, what a waste of time. Uh, I've just been researching the God of Salt, so I'm not familiar with sea relics. Is that so strange? And you, you kept asking about how much Mora everything is worth. Can the value of relics only be measured in Mora? I, I mean, isn't measuring their value in Mora the easiest way? Uh, this also matches the traditions of Liyue, does it not? Now, now, calm down. No need to make a fuss. We will. Oh, what a shame. <sighs> These objects were indeed washed ashore by the stone slab we found, however. As a mysterious pattern and faint. Quick, give it to me. <laughs> At least we didn't come for nothing. The power of the gods, yes! Oh, but these other objects are certainly worth a little something, right? <laughs> it should be enough to cover the cost of hiring you. Not at all. My quest to uncover the history of the God of Salt is because history can tell us about culture and beliefs. But you? You're just trying to use archaeology to get rich! Nonsense! I'm a professional archaeology researcher from Snezhnaya. I swear, if I'm lying, may the Lord of Geos... Oh, by the way, you probably don't want to sell that teacup. Oh? Why's that? That's not an ancient teacup. It's part of Ningguang's collection. It must have fallen here along with the Jade Chamber. So... Um... Ah, I see. Uh, what a shame. It was of such high quality, too. See? You do want to sell these objects! But... Uh, so what? Why can't I pursue wealth both intellectual and material? Don't... Huh. All right, then. No need to stay here any longer. 
Eh, Saltera. Dibuka ternyata. Kita ngomongin sedarah dulu aja. Daripada kita tadi lagi. Saltera. Oh, God of Salt. Oke. Okay. Di inscriptionnya juga kan emang ada salt salt. Gue kira bawa sesuatu yang asin waktu itu. Gue <laughs> banget. I heard that Salterai was once the home of the God of Salt's people. Therefore, <laughs> there are sure to be loads of valuable relics nearby. According to legend, the people of the God of Salt, Havria, enjoy that this legend has been around for ages. With the count- oh, That's just great. If I knew it was picked this clean before, I wouldn't have come. About that, I know there's a ruin deep in this cave here. It's related to the God of Salt. Which is actually how the area originally got its name of Sal Terai. However, the ruin entrance has been sealed by a mysterious power. I found a mechanism that seemed to be related to the seal, but... So at the moment, the seal's origin and how to break it are very important topics in my research on the God of... I don't know. There's no concrete evidence. But I'm pretty sure the seal is... The God of Salt was a benevolent god, adored by the people. Not to mention powerful. She wouldn't have any kind of shameful secrets, so... The one who wants to hide some truth is very possibly her killer, Morak. Who cares about all that? It sounds like countless treasures of the... You weren't listening at all, were you? Ugh. Ah, but we have the illustrious Mr. Zhang Li with us. He looks like he knows just about everything. A little... This seal seems to be quite ancient. <laughs> Even Miss... I may know something about it. Wh what? Over the years, I've heard various rumors with bits of knowledge about C. Let's go take a look at the mechanism. Okay, since Mr. Zhongli says so. Here it is. There's some debris scattered here that, when put together, look like they definitely had to do with the God of Salt. According to the inscription on the side, if one looks from a certain angle, the secret to the mechanism will be revealed. <sighs> See that? Although we activated the mechanism, nothing happened to the seal. That's because there's actually another mechanism that must be activated. Another? Let me lead the way from here. This place seems familiar. Huh. When I investigated the seal last time, I had someone with a vision accompany me. But when we lit up all the elemental monuments? That's because you don't just need to activate them at the same time. The secret to this puzzle is hidden in the legends about the Archon War. Tianhong in the south. Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. All desolate and devoid of life. To the north, to the east, do the people of Liyue all... I, I th Certainly you have. And the contents of this saying are also related to the god of... To provide a haven for her people, whose lives had been ravaged by the Archon War. This benevolent god searched all across Liyue. At that time... 
with the chaotic fires of war engulfing the land, and that haven she eventually found is right here. Today, it is known as Sal Turai. How sad, then. In the end, this peaceful place... Okay, enough with these ancient stories. Now that we have the clue, hurry up and break the seal. Whatever happened doesn't... Tianhong in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Jingzhe in the north. With this clue, you should be able to solve the puzzle. Nothing to do. Brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. Bring it on. Okay, I need north. Belakangan. Coba lihat lagi. South east. Okay, kita dari south dulu. South, 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 south. Dan gua masuk. No rest for the wicked. Tu kanan kan eh? Tianhong in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Jingzhe in the north. The directions are the clue. Istu itu. Give it another try. Istu kanan pak. Tianhong in the south, huh? Yao Guang oh. in the east, South Zui east, west, west, north, Jingzhe in the north. The directions are yeah, the clue. Yeah, Give it another try. Tunggu, tunggu. North. <laughs> Gue tuh lupa is my west tuh. Tianhong in the south, <laughs> Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Jingzhe in the north. The directions oh. are the clue. Give it another try. Look! The seal really was broken! Mr. Zhang Li is indeed quite remarkable. It was nothing, really. Now, it's time that people learn the hidden truth lost to time. Before entering the ruin, I have a proposal that will help us prevent the kind of senseless arguing between you two that we saw at Guyanstone Forest. Okay. 
I propose you to agree upon a contract, stipulating that we alternate who gets claim to each treasure we encounter, with only one object permitted per claim. To show my sincerity, I won't be. Pay <laughs> one, pay one. I don't agree. I mean, you want me to split the treasure with this? I don't agree either. <laughs> he won't. Well then, if the contract is not agreed upon, I will no longer serve as your consultant on this expedition. You will have to rely on your own experience to find whatever treasures are hidden in this ruin, as well as traps. You, you, you have the audacity to demand this. <sighs> okay then. Even half of the treasure in the long-sealed ruin of the God of Salt should be enough to make a fortune. If you want me to agree upon this contract, if we discover the truth behind the God of Salt... I can accept this arrangement. Well then. I could get used to this. Gelap banget. Gila sih batunya banyak banget. Ini buat yang pakai batu ginian pas itu sih happy ke sini. Oh, ada ruin. Oke. Okay. Bisa dilihat gak ya statusnya? Eh bisa dilihat coy Statusnya Oke okay, dia udah C3 Curang banget Talentsnya gue 8 hmm. Oke okay, ini gak penting Press hold Oke okay, bisa dipas di hold Gue gak akan baca detail dulu Terus petrification Oke okay. Hmm Kuat constellationnya Dominus Lapis nggak ngerti, Planet Before nggak ngerti. Dia pakai wow senjatanya, level 82 bisa gedein nggak? Nggak bisa. <laughs> Still Trend 20. Artifaknya, wih plus 16 semua coy. Dan pakai nobles, oke. No, these are people. 
They were probably followers of the God of Salt. How did they come this way? Oh, the world is hidden deep in this room. Hey, wait, I don't know. Gue terkejeplos. Oh, keren. Ngapain bosan? Oh, coba. Hmm. Pilarnya lama juga, terus. Gue masih gak ngerti yang soal si Pras ini ngapain. Coba gue pengen lihat Thailand. Oke, Pras, uh, Pras itu kan tadi kan keluarin pilar, terus dealing I, AW geo damage additionally. Oh, di combo sama MC. Ya, yeah. ini kalau dikombo sama MC, atau enggak dua dua zongli gitu, kan? Enggak, atau empat zongli. Nah, kalau auto hold ya, cause nearby geo energy to explode. Nearby geo energy. Oke kita lihat dulu lagi udah dibaca kan uh, ini makanya dikasih begini gue naik sini agak-agak ya ngasalin ya eh pak salah pak sini pak bawaan lah ini bisa dua kata cuma satu Biji mana? Look at this. It's filled halfway with salt. Uh, it just looks like a fancy salt holder. According to my knowledge, it's no ordinary vessel. Although it is only half full, it is also forever half full. Hmm. That is to say, no, it's it's bottomless. What? You're saying that even if I pour the salt out, the amount inside won't change? Exactly. Able to produce endless salt. Finally. After all that, I just need to pour the endless salt into a thousand or ten thousand bags. Hey, how can you... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Clement wants this salt chalice. Then the next object we find will belong to Miss Wanyan. According to the... Con of course, as we agreed. <laughs> But how can anything be worth more than this rare find? Pasti Since we have bagus. a contract, uh, it's no use. Then let's move on, shall we? Anda tolol, anda tolol. Kita tes, boom. Terus berikutnya. Oh, boom. Oh, nggak oh, bisa. Okay. Gue bisa pakai punya musuh buat jadi damage gua. Oke, okay. kalau langsung. Nah, cuma gitu doang. Enggak worth it.
Astaga Eh bisa pakai ini Salah 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 pakai ini lebih bagus tuh kan benar. Just a simple ruler. It doesn't look to be worth anything. This. If I remember correctly, this is some kind of measuring tool. Indeed. But the god of salt imbued it with another power. When you stick this ruler in the ground, the surrounding area will become covered in salt, much like a rising tide covers the earth. The deeper it is stuck in the ground, the more salt will appear. It is essentially a bumper harvest of salt. What? That, that's even better than the salt chalice! Well then, according to- No! Unacceptable! I paid for and organized this, and this girl has been useless! So you are saying you want to break the contract? So what if I break it? Now that I've seen how the mechanisms in this ruin work, I no longer need you! Let's not forget who hired who here! Why should I let you make the rules? Because you agreed to a contract. Rex Lapis once said, Ones who break their contracts shall suffer the wrath of the rock. That is one of your Liyue gods. I am from Snezhnaya. I... Itu jadi batu. ...will suffer the wrath of the rock. Oh, dia fatu agent. Makanya songong. Mana sih Tempel dulu deh. I shall confiscate your. You are not worthy to continue any further into the ruin. Oh, darn you! Just you wait. <laughs> Clement's wrongdoing stemmed from greed, yes. But besides greed, there are many other things that may tempt us. To... When people see the object of their dreams, how many are really able to control their desire? And I think we should be honest with each other now. That in truth, not a single member of this archaeological... Why do you say that? Miss, you lack even the most basic archaeological knowledge, and can recognize naught but a few simple relics. However, you are an expert when it comes to anything regarding... You aren't interested in archaeology or relics. What your... I believe those legends about the God of Salt that you mentioned on the Pearl Galley are passed down between generations. Okay, that's enough, sir. You are indeed a man of great knowledge and talents. I seem to have been right to seek you out once I pl You're right. I'm not a scholar of archaeology. I come from what our ancestors were those protected by the God of Salt all those years ago. When the Archon War engulfed the land in chaos. During the war... Morax assassinated our god out of envy for her power. We... we hate him! But this is Morax's Liyue after all. And its history is written as he wishes. So I seek proof of Morax's guilt. He has blood on his hands and... <sighs> we agreed to a contract that we will face the truth head on, didn't we, Mr. Zhongli? Naturally, of course. But I must add, Liyue... 
is no longer Morax's Leo. Come with me. This is a sword? Uh-huh. It's a broken sword. This is proof. This proves that the God of Salt had to fight back. The power of this sword surely is much greater than that of the... If we can repair the sword, then... Two pieces of a broken sword. From an archaeological perspective, these are two separate relics. According to the contract, you can only claim one. B why We were alternating claims to treasure, true. Yes. But the only one object per claim clause still holds true. You cannot take two relics at the same time. This logic! <sighs> when there's a contract, nothing can be allowed to slide. If the contract is not followed, then it is broken. No! If I only take one half, then it can't be repaired, and the power of the God of Salt cannot be restored. No matter what, I must be faithful to her. Even if it breaks the contract, I don't care. So you are already decided? Hmm. Then there is a price to pay for breaking the contract. That is to say, you consign yourself to suffer the wrath of the rock. That... that's okay. The God of Salt, punish me however you want. Just let me take this proof of my faith. Perhaps that punishment would be easier for her, but as punishment, I will tell you the truth. Huh? The truth? Yes. The truth that I am about to tell you shall be your price to pay for... I'm afraid to say that the God of Salt, Havria, rather she was a small and weak god who yielded to all other gods. When it came to war, she lost, never able to win a seat among the Seven. What? During the Archon War, the gods of this world used all their strength and cunning to vie for control, but Havria instead chose to flee. She thought that by giving up before a fight could start, she could save herself and her people from the war. However, during such a long war, there is no end to the advances of aggressors. After making countless concessions, 
Avria lost all of her lands, until only one small haven remained. No. No! It can't be so. In her last days, she had not even a single blade to defend. Not even a single blade? This sword is not a relic belonging to the God of Salt, but is instead the murder weapon used to kill her. Murder weapon? No! That's not true! That can't be true! You're trying to test my faith in the God of Salt! As I said before... Preposterous! <laughs> you, you are a follower of... Indeed. Otherwise, why would I use the truth as punishment? I did not want to tell her such cruel facts. But the contract was, let's follow her deeper into the ruin. There, I fear, we will follow. Salt. And betrayal. you do not trust me let us continue onward that which lies beyond this door will show you all that happened back then This is the scene of the crime. Havria's body dissipated, leaving nothing but these traces of salt. Her dying moments have since been frozen in time to this very day. The story continues that some among her people realized at last that this gentle, kind, but weak god could never protect anyone in wartime. The Archon War was cruel in the extreme. Instead of consigning her to the agony of defeat, they thought perhaps it would be better to give her a quick release. No matter how weak the god, the power that flows forth when they are slain is beyond the strength of mortal coils to bear. Those who could not flee were thus transformed. Those of her people who were untouched by this disaster left for Lyra, where they sought refuge with Rex Lapis. Their descendants feared Havria's remnants and lived in terror that she had laid upon them an eternal curse. So they risked their lives to come here, to break the sword and offer up obeisances in hopes that her anger might be appeased. But they need not have done so. For how could a god, who had never once resisted, even till the end, nurse hatred for her people in her heart? Uh, I... Even if this is so, I can't! This must be a lie. A false history, all of it! Don't you dare try to shake my faith! This is the price she must pay. Yet I would not call it a bad thing. Judging by how she appeared, 
I fear that she will struggle for a time. But even if she may not escape that struggle immediately... Indeed. In ages past, Havria's story served as a warning to me as well. Faith in a god who has already passed will do you no good. So it is for Havria. And so it is for Morax also. All right then. Now, would you like to accompany me in taking a... <sighs> Treading old ground. Telling old stories. One cannot help but be reminded of old acquaintances. Yeah, pati pati pati. <clears throat> XP ke 30 doang Gak salah kan? Ada lagi gak disini? Gak ada, gak ada Gak ada, coba Tapi kalau God of Salt itu jadi Seven Element Archon lucu sih. Element garam. <laughs> Anjir. Element garam. Ini bisa apa tuh elemen eh? Oh, tempat tadi. Garamin orang. Oke, okay, kita ke atas. Dia kalau hujan sekarat sendiri ya. Goblok sekali. Gue biarin. Bentar aja. Now, I mentioned before that many gods of old have been sealed beneath the Guyans. The Adepti have presently handed Leo over to mortals, and Havria's time was even further in the past. The salt chalice and salt ruler that she left behind to leave them here is to let them slumber. And I ended an era with my own two hands. I have all history records, <coughs> but history may be changed. This incident proved that. 
I need to find a better way of recording history in order to engrave its truth. Stone carvings were one such ancient method. But unchanging stone, immovable earth, even one such as myself. Someday. Therefore, I thought of you. You are one who crosses the celestial atlas and who passes through countless worlds. If our history is engraved in your memory, it will one day accompany you into another world. As long as a traveler like you is able to record what happened, then a backup of sorts will exist for times and tides of Tevat. Now then, it is time that we consigned both the Salt Chalice and Salt Ruler to the sea. As I said before, this is the place to which the remnants of many bygone gods are consigned. This includes Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who the Jade Chamber most recently returned to this ocean prison. Thousands of years ago, the Adepti and I fought against the turmoil that plagued every corner of this land. Guyan Stone Forest, where I sealed many gods with my spears. After so long, not but folk tales remain. Oh, Sire, you and I were foes, but our ancient grudge is but a bygone memory now. May that which Havria has left behind be yours to subsume. And thus another spark of divinity departs from Lila. My legacy shall now be left to those who come after to debate. I wonder what the rest of the Harbingers are up to. Flooding and scheming on an ever grander scale, no doubt. Okay, uh, that's it. Side quest, Nyasi Zongli. I will remain here for Then... a while. I fear that moments of reminiscence oh, like this kita... can only. Lanjut. We did not measure right and wrong during the days of the Archon War in the same manner, of course, as I am now. I will remain here for a while. I fear, though the Salt Chalice and Salt Ruler do have power in their own right, they are, if a day comes when he should recover his strength and return, I... I will remain here for a while. I fear that moments of re That is a good question. In the past, I might have given you... But now... Yes. I suppose I will continue in my role as a consultant at Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. But if this journey was to your liking, why don't you come along the next time I am seeking to preserve memories of Leo's past? Okay. Oke, okay, berarti sekarang cuma ini doang, gak ada lagi. Tadi terakhir nanya-nanya. Uh, that's it. Lumayan lama sih kayaknya. Berapa lama sih ini? nggak uh, bisa gue lihat di live chat <tuh> tapi ini udah lumayan lama banget sampai jam 12 oke okay. thanks for watching and see ya